It is finally happening. We are going to be talking about smart doorbells. One of the best purchases that you can be making when building out a smart security and probably the first item that you should be purchasing for it. As always, before we dive into what we're talking about today, I want to provide a quick recap of where we're at. If you haven't seen the rest of my series, Smart Security, or if you haven't watched the basics of a smart home, I highly encourage you to go back and watch these videos. What they're going to do is they're going to teach you the basics of a smart home so you can be up to date with where we're at right now in building out a smart home, as well as you're going to have the ability to understand the basics of what a smart security system is and what all these different devices are that we're talking about. Now, last video was talking about home monitoring. And the reason why I separated that video and jumped on that one before we dove into these doorbells was because a lot of these doorbells offer home monitoring capabilities. Sometimes to access all of the features and all of the cloud features uh, with saving videos on these doorbells, it requires subscribing to these different companies. What you end up getting is home monitoring along the way. So I wanted to take a moment and talk about home monitoring specifically so I didn't have to spend half of this video when we're supposed to be talking about doorbells talking about home monitoring. So what exactly is a smart doorbell. You're probably going to see it more commonly called a video doorbell, and it's simply just an upgrade from your regular old school doorbell. A smart doorbell or a video doorbell has a microphone so people can talk to you, speakers so you can talk to them, and a camera so that you can see people that are coming to your door, whether you are home or not, it's going to feel like you're home because you're able to talk to them in the moment. Why should you be purchasing a video doorbell first? Well, most people want to be able to see people that are coming to their door. Cameras are really one of the very first things because we all want to be able to see what's happening inside or outside of our home. Video doorbells give us the ability that anytime somebody comes to our door, whether it be for a package or maybe it's a child or anything like that, we can engage with those people. It helps protect the front of our home very easily and they do provide a very wide range of view. So you don't always need a camera in this vicinity when you have a doorbell camera. What's also really great about doorbell cameras is you have wired and unwired versions. So depending on your situation, you can have one in an apartment or you can even have one on your regular home. It was really cool learning about these because as I mentioned, you can have unwired ones. There are video doorbells that operate on batteries and basically just have double-sided tape to be able to attach to an apartment. So no matter where you are, you can actually have a video doorbell. All you need is an internet connection. And I don't say Wi-Fi because some video doorbells even offer the capability to connect over your cellular data instead of just your regular Wi-Fi connection. I'm going to link a couple videos down below on video doorbell comparison videos. I'm not gonna take the time to dive into them right now because they've kind of already been done. When I was shopping for my video doorbells, these are some of the videos that I watched to look at some of the very specific differences between them. Generally, what you're gonna be looking for in a doorbell is its video quality, as well as its rating of temperature. Here in Alaska, I have to be very careful about that. I did think it was very interesting though that they said that the Eufy doorbell cameras are only supposed to go to negative four degrees, and I think I've seen mine operate down to negative 15 degrees before. Now, this might void the warranty, but it works, so. I'm fine with it. One of the other really cool features that you can find in a video doorbell is the dual camera capability. Some of these newer style doorbells have a camera that is front facing as well as downward facing. And it gives us the ability to see what's down on the ground, specifically for packages, because we all love Amazon. And we're always getting our Amazon packages delivered. So we can see packages down on the ground and make sure that they're not being taken. As I said, I'm going to link some videos down in the description if you want to compare and contrast some different doorbells. I really want to talk about two specific companies. And if you watched my home monitoring video, then you're going to know which these two are already. The reason why I'm sticking with these two specific ones is because you want to, you want the ability to integrate all the different smart devices into one cohesive app. It's really difficult when you have a bunch of different branded devices that work for a security system because they're not always going to work together. I did mention that contact sensors and motion sensors can be bought separately. And if you have a 
smart hub system, you can then integrate them together. So that's an option for you. But one of the things that I'm looking at for my own DIY system is to have cameras, motion sensors, contact sensors, and an alarm pad all from the same company. That way I don't have to run things through the home hub if I don't have to. So those two companies, like I mentioned in the home monitoring video, are Arlo and Eufy. I have not personally tested Arlo. I've read lots of really great things about them. Go take a moment, watch the home monitoring video so you can learn some of the great things about their home monitoring capabilities. But I personally love the Eufy brand. I've gotten their doorbells, I have a door lock, and I have cameras from them. The only thing I'm missing right now is their keypad and some of their contact sensors and motion sensors, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go the contact and motion sensor route. But I do wanna get their keypad system because I love the way that it integrates with their other devices. That's part of the reason why I'm going with either Arlo or Eufy, and I encourage you to go with one of these two is because you can build out from those devices and they have a larger range of devices for an affordable price and they offer home monitoring that is an opt-in option. You're not forced to have it, but you can have it if you so choose and you also get some other really great benefits along the way. Most of these doorbell cameras are going to have very similar features. They're gonna be able to have either one or two cameras. Their video recording quality and their nighttime vision as well are all roughly the same. The technology is mostly the same for now. The difference now is in their home monitoring as well as what additional services that they offer uh, or other devices that these companies offer as well that integrate together. One of my favorite features is the ability to connect these to our smart speakers. Because I have small children that nap during the day and I have dogs, it got really annoying when people would ring my doorbell. The doorbell chime inside my house was so loud and it's in the main area of my house. So everybody heard it no matter where you are, which I get you're supposed to, but it was so loud that it would sometimes wake up our children and also the dogs would start barking. So one of the things I did was when I wired in my doorbell, I actually went and unwired the indoor chime. It's super easy to do. All you have to do is unconnect the wires for power and then make sure you put the wire nuts back on it so nothing gets shocked or electrocuted or burned down because wiring is dangerous. But what I did from there was I then connected my Eufy doorbell to my Alexa. So what's really cool is whenever somebody presses the doorbell, it actually announces through the Alexa devices that somebody's at the door. Someone is at the doorbell. This was a lot more subtle as well as, of course, we get notifications, but this was more subtle and it wasn't always alerting our dogs as well as our children and waking them up. I highly encourage you to take the time to look into either Arlo or Eufy when it comes to your doorbells. They have a large range of products that will integrate very, very well together. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something about doorbells. Take a moment and go watch those comparison videos. Also go learn about what home monitoring is. It's very important for you to consider it and see if it's something that's worth it to you. If you've learned something, share this video with a friend, comment down below what doorbell you love. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wanna learn more about smart homes. Hit that notification button so you know whenever a new video drops. Every Saturday at 11 a.m. Alaska Standard Time is when that video drops, but you can be notified directly whenever I drop a new video. Hit that thumbs up button for me as well. It really helps the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. My name's Ian, and we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.